Welcome back to Getting Up to Speed in Biology. I hope your first class was helpful and that you have started to know the names of certain biological terms and understand certain biological concepts that were unfamiliar before. Today, we're going to move on to the next topic I'd like to cover with you in Lecture 2, The Cell and How It Works. And again, there are going to be a lot of class exercises or a lot of exercises that you can do to make sure that you have the concepts and are able to use them as we've talked about them. What I'd like to do today is three things. I first going to talk about cellular chemistry and some key concepts there. Then we'll talk about organization of the cell. And then we'll talk about cell division. So let's move right in to the question of cellular chemistry. Here are our three topics for the day. And let's talk about, to begin, this notion of cellular chemistry. The cell, as I mentioned yesterday in the previous meeting, is full of chemical reactions. It is a bag of chemical reactions. And the sum of all chemical reactions in the cell is called metabolism. So metabolism is all the chemical reactions in a cell. There are two major types of chemical reactions that you should know. There are catabolic reactions, which break down molecules. For example, if you have some kind of polymer, here's a monomer joined to another monomer. If you add water to that polymer, you will get out two separate monomers, each with their own hydroxyl group. This is a catabolic reaction. And it is also, because you're adding water, called a hydrolysis reaction. The flip of this is an anabolic reaction, where you build up molecules, and these release water in general as they are being performed, and they are called condensation reactions. For example, two monomers, each with a hydroxyl group, will then give rise to a polymer, MOM, with the release of water. These two types of chemical reactions are really pivotal to how the cell functions. Let's take a look at a couple of slides. This first one introduces me to and introduces you to the notion of the cell as a factory. This beautiful painting lays for us a kind of framework of thinking about the cell as a production process, a, a production plant, where things are made, they're broken down, they're made again. And so I want you to bear that in mind as we talk more about the cell and its chemistry. Here are a couple of diagrams of real condensation and hydrolysis reactions. As the slide points out, both of these involve formation and breakdown of covalent bonds, some of those very strong bonds we spoke about previously. And you can see that this single reaction, which is either the production of the disaccharide lactose or its breakdown into its component monosaccharides, can go in both directions. In one direction, it's a condensation reaction as lactose is being made. And in the other, it's a hydrolysis reaction as the disaccharide is being broken down into its component parts. So this really exemplifies what you need to know about condensation and hydrolysis reactions. The idea is that when you build up molecules, 
you generally need energy to do so, and when you break down molecules, energy is generally released. We're going to see that that's not entirely true in a moment, but it's a reasonable first approximation. So I'd like you now to take a look at this first exercise and practice figuring out if it's a condensation or a hydrolysis reaction. <laughs> 